Hey everyone, Adam here with another Expedition OSCP. Today's adventure focuses on the Yellow Trail, also known as the History or Fitness Trail. So what's really cool about this trail is that as you walk around on it, there's fitness objects and there's history. So as you, you walk down this trail, you can learn like you're traveling down the Santee Canal. So that's really exciting about this trail. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, the start of the trail is a hill. So it is not stroller or wheelchair friendly. Okay, so you're going to have to take the Osprey Loop instead, which is right next door. But what is really exciting about this trail is that it's a great place to take your pet for a walk. Just remember that your pets have to remain on a leash at all times. So while you're hiking down the history or fitness trail, you keep your eyes out for nature as well. This tree I actually spotted has decomposition going on. Now lots of critters are involved in decomposition. Most of them are insects. So insects play a very important part about breaking things down. Now if you look at this tree, it actually has little cavities and carved out areas where insects have burrowed around in the tree. These are actually called galleries. So think of like an art gallery, because if you look at this tree, it's full of art just made by insects. So one of the cool benefits of hiking the history trail or the fitness trail is obstacles. So the first obstacle you'll come upon are the pull-up bars. So don't be afraid to actually grab on and pull yourself up. So as you're walking down the history or the fitness trail, just be mindful of the roots and the rocks and the hill elevation you have to go down. Please take your time and be careful, especially if it's wet. So even though you'll be next to the Tail Race Canal with, on the fitness trail or history trail, remember we do not allow fishing on our trails. That being said, if you do want to fish, we have a dock on the Tail Race Canal that is great fishing. You can catch all sorts of brim, catfish, maybe even if a, a bass if you're lucky. So just remember, no fishing on the trails or in the swamp. So as you're walking down the history or fitness trail, you're gonna come across these signs. These signs are interesting facts about the Santee Canal, as if you were traveling down the Santee Canal itself. So each one has a specific fact about the canal. So take the time and read them because you never know what information you may find out. So the next obstacle you'll come across on the fitness history trail is this step up. So all you're gonna do is step, 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 and that's gonna increase your workout, your fitness trail. So if you ever get tired of hiking and working on your fitness, this trail is the place you need to be because along this trail actually has two swinging benches where you can just stop and enjoy nature. So remember to keep your eyes open because you never know what you're gonna see. This happens to be a squirrel tree frog. And the reason it's called a squirrel tree frog is because they climb trees just like squirrels. You see how their feet have those big suction cups and that allows them to climb pretty much anything. The canal was built for a very specific purpose and that's to transport cash crops like indigo, tobacco, and cotton from the upstate of, in Columbia to Charlestown. So as you're walking around, you're gonna see a lot of different palmettos. These are dwarf palmettos, but there's actually 18 different species of palmettos in South Carolina. One of them, called the cabbage palmetto, is actually on the state flag of South Carolina. So the next obstacle on the fitness history trail that you'll run across 
is the balance beam. So this really works the core and it makes you really focus on your balance. Don't forget to stop and read the facts. This one is all about traveling down the Santee Canal. Now you have to remember that the Santee Canal only ran for 50 years due to the railroad becoming popular. Another great decomposer are fungi. So this one is called a lumpy bracket. So it's a type of mushroom. Now fungi actually have roots or hyphae that they send into the wood which then dissolves the wood and then they eat it. Very, very cool. So the next fitness obstacle you're going to run across are the push-up bars. Now these actually have different levels. You have beginner, you have all the way up to advanced. Now when you get here, you're gonna assume the push-up position and then you're just gonna go down and do a few push-ups. The next history sign you run across talks about the boats that made their way down the Santee Canal. Remember that these boats were really narrow in order to make it through the lock system, but they still could carry 70 bales of cotton, 900 bushels of corn, 200 barrels of flour, or 35 hogsheads of tobacco. So the next obstacle on the fitness or history trail is actually the sit-ups. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna put your feet under the bar and sit up. If you wanna get real creative, you can go and cross. The next sign on the yellow trail you run across talks about Santee Cooper and how they created the Tail Race Canal modeled after the old Santee Canal. Most of the Santee Canal, unfortunately, lies underneath Lake Moultrie. The history and fitness trail actually ends at the same spot the canal trail does, right here at the original Santee Canal. So this is where the old Santee Canal starts, right here. So we preserved the last mile of it. So thank you for joining me on another Expedition OSCP. I hope to see you out on the Yellow Trail or the Fitness History Trail. Um, come see us at the park or check us out next Wednesday.